Hello, in this video, we will go over different questions that can be asked on random module in Python. As the name suggests, the module has various methods which allows us to generate random numbers. While some of them are shown here, it has quite a few more methods which gives random numbers based upon Gaussian, normal, Pareto distribution etc. But we will cover some from this list which are most commonly used. In questions you could expect one of these methods like randint or rand range given and you would be asked to identify which module they belong to. So it would be good for you to take a look at these methods so that you can identify them as part of random module in such questions. Let's cover some of the functions from this list. The first function we will cover is randint. It takes in two integer values and returns a random number between them with both numbers inclusive. The question that could be asked on this is to write an expression to simulate a dice. To simulate a dice, we will write random.randint1,6. This will give random number from 1 to 6. Another question could be to generate a three digit random number. Here you can call randint from 100 to 999. Similar question could be to write a program which generates a user ID for ABC company in following format ABC followed by four digits where X is a random digit. Here you will first include the library and then call randint function from 1000 to 9999 and then convert the output to string to combine with ABC and then return the value. Random has another function which is called rand range. It takes in three parameters start, stop and step. Here you can specify a step in random number. Also key thing to note is that stop is not included in the range unlike randint. So if a question is asked to write an expression which will generate only even random numbers from 0 to 10, you will give start of 0, end as 11 and step as 2 in the expression. Let's look at another function choice which takes in a sequence. The choice function is often used for choosing a random element from a list. The question that can be asked on this is that there are 4 balls of color red, blue, green and yellow in a bag. Write a program which will randomly return the color of ball selected from the bag. Here we will first import the library, then create a list of options which are colors over here. Then we will call random.choice function with this list and print the return value. Another function over here is shuffle which takes in a sequence. It shuffles the list in random order. The question that can be asked over here is to simulate a card deck. A card deck has cards kept in sequence 1 to 10, Jack, Queen, King. Shuffle the cards in random order in a list so that they can be distributed. Here we will first import the library and then create a list with cards listed in given sequence. Then you will call the shuffle function with the list. Then you will print the result which will give the cards in random order. Some other questions are asked along with in or range function to predict the output. Like for example, in this program, what is the maximum and minimum number of times loop will be executed? Here we know the random number is either 1, 2 or 3. Then the minimum time the range function will execute is 1 and the maximum is 3. Next question is that which of the line of output is not expected in the program. Here we know range function executes from 0 to n minus 1. So j can have values from 0 to 2. So it can never print 3 star 4. If you want to solve more problems like this, you can visit my website for more questions on Python. Good luck!